Greetings, everybody. I am in Algeria right now, and in Algeria, the prunus fruits are very popular. So plums, apricots, peaches, nectarines. There's a ton of those. Like everywhere I've been going, uh, I've been seeing prunus fruits all over the place. Stone fruits everywhere, including cherries. Uh, today, I'm going to try two different varieties of Algerian cherries. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what these are called. <laughs> Let's go with red and not red, but these were grown here in Algeria. These are specifically Algerian cherries. So uh, let's start with the red one. Uh, one thing that is notable about these cherries is that they are a little bit smaller than the cherries we get in the U.S. and that might be just because of the variety that is cultivated in the U.S. being a bigger one. Sometimes people think bigger is better. Not always the case. So yeah, this one is a little bit smaller. You're not getting quite as much fruit there, but the flavor is what matters. Let's see what that's like. There's the seed. That cherry is really good. And it is different than your typical cherry. I'm trying to figure out why it's different. Um, so let's break it down. It is maybe a 7 out of 10 on sweetness. Like a 2 out of 10 on tartness. A little bit of tartness, but it's not sour. It's maybe a little bit bitter. It's got a touch of bitterness to it, but in a nice way. It's not like overpoweringly bitter or anything. Just a little, little hint of bitterness to it. And it's maybe like a little bit spicy. It's got like a touch of, I don't know, little like an almond extract sort of, sort of spice or a little touch of cinnamon maybe. It's like a, like a dark, deep kind of kind of flavor, like brown sugar, but a little bit bitter. So it makes me think of molasses. It's not like strongly of molasses, but it is there, and it's not something I typically get from you know a, a cherry in the U.S. So there's there's a little, little extra like of a like a dark sort of flavor. It's good. So let's uh, let's next try the not red variety, the yellowish pinkish, whatever you want to call that cherry. The flavor in this is not in this. That, that dark flavor is not there. This one is um, lighter, more in line with the cherries we get in the U.S. These are more tart. I would give them a 4 out of 10 on tartness. They're also less sweet. I'd give those um, also a 4 out of 10 on sweetness. It's a little bit lighter, maybe a touch of like an apple-y kind of taste, and kind of gets you like on the tip of the tongue, you know, when you're, when you're eating it, it's got a little like apple flavor on the tip of your tongue. But um, yeah, they're, they're both good. As far as a, a preference, I think I would probably go with the red ones before I went with the not red ones, and that's just because these have more complexity to them. Uh, I like these, these are totally good, but um, these ones have a little something extra to them, and that's that's pretty nice. But yeah, prunus fruits are a thing here in Algeria, and um, people in Algeria know how to grow prunus fruits. The quality of fruit here is pretty incredible. Everything is grown locally, and I could tell that people who are growing the fruit here are... They, they care about it, but I've been having quite a few different fruits since I've been here and I've noticed a high quality in the produce and that definitely is the case with their local cherries. So I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all next time. I would like to give a big shout out to Smarter Every Day, Lofty Rex, and JMac. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon, I'm sure you've heard about it, but basically it is how I can afford to go on all the adventures that I go on on this channel and how I buy all the fruit that I buy. So if you are interested in supporting the channel, check out the link in the description below. Another way to help out is by going to my website. My website has all my videos organized into categories, which is pretty cool, and I also have t-shirts for sale over there. So check it out, and I will see you all next time.